more siblings. <laughs> now, imagine if tomorrow those siblings were gone because your parents forgot to feed them or hit them for simply existing. That's a reality. An average of five children every single day die as a result of child abuse and neglect. And in 2013, an average of 679,000 children were victims of abuse and neglect in the home. Lubbock has the highest rate of child abuse per capita in the state of Texas. That's our home. CASA is a nonprofit organization that trains volunteer advocates to intervene on behalf of these abused and neglected children. My sorority, Kappa Alpha Theta, has been partnered with CASA, the national organization, since 1984 and is denoted the largest monetary donor to the organization. Our chapter here at Texas Tech works hand in hand with the CASA of the South Plains. We provide fundraising and awareness for CASA of the South Plains. So first I'm gonna talk with you through um, what CASA stands for and what the organization as a whole does. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about the responsibilities that an advocate takes on. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about um, what goes into becoming an advocate and the requirements for that. So CASA is a national organization and they have over 1,000 local community chapters, such as CASA of the South Plains here in Lubbock. CASA is actually an acronym and it stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. And according to CASA CASAforchildren.org, their vision statement is to recruit, train, and support these volunteers in their work with abused children. CASA actually began in 1977 on a national level when a judge felt guilty with making such hasty decisions in court that would affect these children for the rest of their lives. They would be uprooting children from their home without having all of the facts and details about their case. The judge wanted to appoint a volunteer advocate to go in and research the case further in order to find out more information to make more informed decisions. The first advocate was actually appointed in Lubbock in 1993 in October. Since then, over 5,000 children have been appointed with over 1,000 advocates in Lubbock. Today, with the high need of volunteers due to the fact that we're the highest rate of child abuse per capita, Lubbock has 222 volunteers. And in 2015, out of the 1,200 children in foster care, only 485 of them, or about 38%, actually had advocates. Now having an advocate's a big deal because not only do they just help you in every aspect, 122 of the 485 that did have advocates actually found permanent homes and were adopted. And that's the whole goal of the end result. So CASA doesn't actually work with CPS. They're not part of CPS and they're not part of the foster care system. They're more of a middleman that is kind of a go-between to help mediate between those systems. So they advocate for the children on behalf of legal issues, medical issues, and social issues. So as far as legal issues are concerned, the CASA will basically go to court and stand in and intervene for that child because obviously a six-year-old child can't go to court for themselves. And they won't necessarily have any real like assertiveness, but they will be able to make recommendations and offer their opinions to the judge that can use that information to make decisions on the case. They gather this information by going frequent home visits, they're in frequent communication with the children, with the guardians, and they're basically gathering all of it to make a case and to evaluate the overall standard of living that that child has. For medical issues, they'll go in and again evaluate the situation. Because the truth, the reality is that these children of neglect, like they may not have ever visited a doctor or a dentist in their whole entire life, or they may not have done it in years, and that can be detrimental on a scale of children developing. At that developmental stage, they need to be going to their checkups to make sure everything's okay. So for example, a child may be doing poorly in school and just really struggling, and that may be because the child needs glasses and no one's there to stand in and say, hey, can you see the board? That's where the CASA advocate comes in and they'll make sure that that child is getting the glasses they need, getting the checkups they need, and getting the medical attention that they need. So children of neglect are often really, really behind in their social development because of that isolation that they've experienced, and so they don't have the social skills that they should be having at that age. The CASA will not only advocate, but they also play the role of a friend, a mentor, and a supporter. And for those children, having someone just calling them once a week or taking them to lunch and just asking them, like, how are you doing? How are you doing in school? How are you feeling? Like, that could, you know, that could be really, really helpful into their social development as a whole. So due to the nature surrounding these really, really tough and um, really tough situations, there's a lot of regulations and requirements that go along with actually becoming a CASA advocate. 
So this is according to the CASA website. The requirements to become a CASA are that you're a mature, responsible adult, at least 21 years of age, that you care about the children, you have a real desire to advocate for them, that you're able to talk to people who are having a lot of problems, because you're not only communicating with the children, you're communicating with the adults as well. So you have to go in and talk to, you know, maybe their biological parents or the foster parents and stuff like that. Um, you must have the time to commit. So they ask that you are able to commit at least five to 15 hours a month and that could be coming to court or just checking up on the child, hanging out with them. Um, and they also require an 18 month commitment. So they wanna make sure that you're gonna be a steady figure there and you're not just gonna you know, say, oh, I have to up and move after one month of talking to this child. So you also have to go through an initial interview process. You have to provide a copy of your driver's license with your insurance, an application with three reference letters, and you have to pass all your background checks, complete the 30 hour training, and take the oath of confidentiality. So those are just kind of the steps that you would go through if you wanted to actually become a CASA. So I know that like a lot of you in this room aren't 21 or you know we're in college, we don't have a two year time commitment. So other ways that you can become involved is fundraising. So it takes about $1,500 to train one single volunteer. Like therefore there could be 50 volunteers lined out the door wanting to volunteer, but if they don't have the funds to do that and to train these volunteers, they're not gonna be able to be advocates and they're not gonna be able to help the children. So fundraising is huge, that's how specifically my sorority is involved with it. We raise a lot of funds and awareness as well through different events. Um, so CASA is basically, it's a life-saving organization. Like this could literally mean the difference between life and death for these children. So there are many ways that you can be involved. So we've covered what CASA stands for, facts about kind of the history and what they do on a whole organization level. We've covered the responsibilities that the actual CASA advocate has and what they do. And we've also covered ways that you can become involved and also other ways like the requirements to become a CASA and other ways that you can also become involved. So CASA is a national organization that helps intervene with the children and provide them with the care that they need. One child being abused is one child too many and too often these children are lost in the foster care system. They become just another case number, just another file in the stack. That's where CASA comes in. They go in and make sure that that child is not lost and they get the help. 